In this video, I am going to show you how to factory reset an Android smartphone. And for this, I am using a Samsung Galaxy S21. Now, when you do a factory reset, all of the data on the phone will be deleted. So make sure that if you have got any important files on your phone, such as picture files, music files, or video files, that they are backed off onto an external storage device or backed off to the cloud. And doing a factory reset will only delete your Google account or any other account from the smartphone that you are doing the factory reset on. So you will not delete your Google account or other accounts from your cloud accounts. So the first thing to do is to go to settings. As we can see here, my settings icon is on the home screen. If your settings icon is not on the home screen or you don't know where it is, just go to the search bar at the top and type in settings and then go to settings from there. I will now type on settings. Now once in settings, we need to scroll to the bottom. So I'm gonna scroll right to the bottom here and at the bottom it says about phone. So I'm gonna tap on about phone. Now at this point, we are going to have a number of options. And as we can see here, it says reset. So I'm gonna tap on reset. Now once in reset, there are a number of other options. For instance, it says reset all settings. That will only reset the settings that you've applied to the phone. Reset network settings, that obviously will only apply to the network settings. Reset accessibility settings, again, that only applies to that. However, what we wanna tap on now is factory data reset. So we'll tap on that. And then as we can see here, it says all data will be erased from your phone, including your Google account, system and app data, settings, and so on and so forth. Also, there will be a list of the accounts on the phone that will also be deleted and reset on this particular phone. And you may also see a notification which is going to tell you of the apps that are going to be deleted. Now, once again, don't worry about that. That just means that those apps are being deleted from the phone that you're doing the factory reset to. You can, however, re-download those apps at a later date on a different phone. So what I'm gonna do now is tap on reset. Now here, it's going to ask me to confirm my pattern that I use for my security. It may ask you for something else, but whatever it asks you to do, just apply whatever security measure it is asking you to confirm the phone by. Now, once you've actually confirmed your security, you will be prompted with delete all. So I'm gonna tap on delete all. Now, if you are on a Samsung phone, you may be prompted to put in your password for your Samsung account. It may ask this for your Google account. So just go ahead and do that. However, on mine, it is asking me for a fingerprint. So I'm going to confirm with my fingerprint. And as we can see now, the phone is switched off. Now, this may take some time depending upon the phone that you are using. But what it will do is to switch back on. As we can see, mine is just done. Now I might have to just fast forward through this a second. And there we go, it is now saying erasing as well. So that is going through the process of erasing all the data on the phone. Now your phone may switch off and switch on a couple of times. However, I'm just gonna leave this now to get through to the last screen that it's gonna go to to confirm that the deletion of the data has been done. And then after a short while, you will then see a startup screen. Now this startup screen is what you would normally see when you buy a new Android phone. And this is the confirmation that the phone has been reset and all of your data has been deleted from the phone. If this video has been useful, please give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing to my channel and getting all over that bell notification icon. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.